Hey guys, um, here we are. I'm making this other, you know, depressing video again. Um, basically about the fact that we only have one month to reach 10k or else I can't keep doing YouTube. <laughs> so that's something, you know. I mean, it's probably near impossible. I'm, I'm probably trying to do something delusional, but in the end, in the end, only those who try to go as far as it can, I guess we'll find out how far the early can go. Right? And many will call me stubborn, many will call me delusional, but I think stubbornness with a purpose is perseverance. It's determination. It's the, it's the idea to not even allow yourself to die. It's the idea to deny destiny, even though it's all, everything's against you. And you know what they say, it's, it's hard to beat someone that never gives up. And lately, I've I've been down, not because of this situation. More, am I alone doing this? Well, why why am I still going even though I know I probably can't do this? Even though th the inevitable is probably going to happen, why do we keep going? And then the funny thing is, I look back, and you know, you know they say keep looking forward, but the reason I look forward is because I look back in a strange way. I started with no friends, having nowhere to belong. Everyone always ignored me like I was some kind of ghost. And, I decided to start doing videos, and I, you know, I did terrible at first, I, I did horrible, but just because of the fact that I knew I could be myself, even after being called, oh, you suck, you're, you're gay, you know, being harassed over and over again, the fact that I could be myself made me feel more human than I ever did before. So then I, I remember taking a whole summer, and I was spending time with friends like normal kids, and I would just work my ass off, literally, you know, going to work every day, and I, I bought my own PC, and, you know, I, I did more videos, and I, they still sucked, but still, nonetheless, I loved it, because I was able to be myself and make people happy, give them a place to belong, even though, most ways, they couldn't. You know, I only had one person watch me, it just, just like one or two, but the fact that I even had one, one person make their day better, one person didn't make smile. That, that made the biggest difference to me. Of course, then that's when I started making friends. That's when things started getting better. That's when everything <laughs> started coming together. And I, um, of course, I had to move away. I lost everything that I'd grown to be. That's when I had to make my friends sign my goggles. And that's when I promised I would become one of the best YouTubers ever. And I would never forget them. Even if they forget me. And I knew they wouldn't care. I know people probably wouldn't care. But the fact that... I could be strong or disembolize what I want to be. So I moved away, I left, and um, that was that. It was hell. But you know what they say. If you're going through hell, keep going. None of my friends except for one of them actually contacted me, and I was I was alone. I was alone, and I, I basically was abandoned. And those years are hard, but I knew that... I knew nobody would save me except for myself. So then... I remember just looking in the mirror a lot of times and saying, you're my competition, you're my competition. And I kept, you know, getting through, getting through, and I kept pushing, pushing, and pushing. And, you know, they say hope is a dangerous thing, but honestly, I feel like it was the best thing that actually kept me going. So after being harassed, after my family hated me, after my friends basically abandoned me, I was alone, but I, stopped, I kept going. And the fact that my passion, my drive, the one thing I held on to, a promise, <laughs> God, Hoping to find a future so bright, it's too much for my eyes. Somehow people found me, somehow people decided, hey, we're gonna help you, we're gonna make this stupid dream of yours become reality, and slowly more people came, more people came. And after a long damn year, I, I somehow came back home. So we moved back home, and that summer, after all the stress and everything, I, I, was, I got depressed again, of course. I thought I was gonna fade away. <laughs> but then, of course, you guys held me up. You guys inspired me, and in the comments, just randomly that day, I remember just typing, hashtag, bring, uh, hashtag, um, pray for blue, um, 1000, and that's, that day, we basically made the impossible happen. <laughs> you guys inspired me when I felt like I was alone, and that, I can never, I can never truly repay you for. So then, we worked our ass off, and we got to 1000, within that summer, when the odds were against us, when literally the statistics were against us, when uh, I, I even idealistically we couldn't get it, we still did it. We made the impossible happen. So then obviously after that, sadly, you know, things went for the worse. My, uh, my family hated me, my, my best friend betrayed me, the rest of my friends basically abandoned me after, you know, not 
us not being able to get further. And it hurt. <laughs> it hurt, but I mean, I we kept on going. We, you know, I, I, we somehow got fan, I, um, we got fan art, fan arts. Um, I, I freaking drink Windex. But then I, I remember, you know, that that was a hard, hard uh, spring. I was depressed. I was wondering who's who's going, to, what's going to happen. I I can't do this alone. And in a sixth sense, that's when I realized nobody can save me except myself. That's when I told myself, I can and I will. End of story. So now I got, I literally, I literally like wrote like three notebooks full of this. And then when Soren came, I, I got my goal sheet. I literally wrote down and then I got it done. I kept working, I kept working. And then that's when the Lemando.com uh, series somehow luckily became popular. And that's that's when our channel just boomed. We actually got 100,000 views off um, all together from the channel because of that. And I think that's how many times people have seen me. 100,000 times. What, what the heck? That is one tenth of a million. And one million views. That, that's absurd. So just to know that one tenth of that, one tenth views of, of people have seen me doing this, it's insane that many times people have watched me. You know, so I, I just worked through my freaking checklist and my mic broke. Of, of all the things, then you guys buy me another one. It's saying this mic. You guys bought me the freaking holy shit. And then after that, I said, you know what? Might as well go absurd. Might as well do the, the um, go all the way in, because if I don't, then how am I going to expect absurd results? So we freaking went all the way, states away, not, not just in, a, we literally drove all the way to freaking see Markiplier, and we saw him, we, we want to talk about but we didn't get to, but we, and we failed miserably at that, but in the same sense, I still felt proud that I could see the light, that I got so close to future that I could have done that. But then, of course, that's when I, um, I failed. Uh, basically, my parents took away my my you know setup they took away my 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 youtube and i it was over that was probably the most impressive i ever felt in my life because i was alone i my friends were gone i i didn't have any objects to do anything with my family hated me and you guys were gone i honestly felt like i was alone i honestly don't know what got me through that but you know when when I started thinking, I thought I was alone. I thought nobody would even think about me. I was just, I faded away. That I was an idiot for believing anything else that people thought about me. And then, of course, you guys start something called hashtag bring Blue Jeans back. Saying how you guys want me back. How you guys miss me. How you guys... <laughs> that was amazing. Because despite the odds, despite me not being able to do something, you guys did something. And it made me feel just that much stronger. To know people thought about me, to know that I mattered, meant more than you could even imagine. So when I came back, I said, thank you, and we're going to make this dream happen. Even though we're going to fail, we're going to fail miserably, we're going to do it together, and we went. And I remember, we did freaking live stream for literally over two days, barely any sleep, and we reached 1,500 when multiple people, people said, oh, it's good enough, you won't make it, and somehow we did it. We proved everyone wrong, and we got basically halfway to 2,000, and we failed again 2,000 January of that month, but still amazing the most amazing part though i think that i haven't given up yet because of the memories you guys have given me that's honestly the only reason i don't think i've died out yet because you guys showed me what it means to like truly love someone i guess to to be able to give people belonging to, to know that even though ideal like realistically we probably can't do something we can still do it if we put enough passion and heart into something and I, people always tell me i can't do things but so many times people don't think about the times we've done basically the impossible over and over and over again and it's insane we've denied destiny it's it's hurrah for us failing multiple times and now obviously the present day hashtag one month one chance obviously this is my last month and i the, the chances are against me i know most of you know the digits most of my friends probably won't help me i probably might do this alone i, I don't want to but if it comes down to that then if i have to do this alone Then don't under mess don't you dare underestimate my determination. The reason I survived this long is because the fire inside me burned way better than all the hell that surrounded me. And even if it's one person help me, d two, three, it doesn't matter. If I can get every every person in, all we need is passion, heart, and we keep going. I know I can't do much, but I believe that happiness is what matters in life, and I I want to give as much happiness as I can, even if I fail, even if. That's what I do with my last moments on this platform. Instead of actually trying to do things to, to reach 10k, then so be it. So be it. Because, you know, if, if that's what the last I can give, happiness to others, then I can live with that. Because in the end, that's what you guys have given to me. 
But as long as I know there's one person that needs me, as long as I know there's one person that still needs me out there, then I'm going to keep working my ass off. <laughs> day in and day out. Like I said, I have 18 notebooks of this of just how many times I've been planning to just do a video for you guys. And multiple times I do a series and I fail. Multiple times I get up and I fall. And you know, I may not be the best. I know... Uh, I'm not, but I sure damn well will try to be the best. Even if I fail, then... That's all I can give it. I know what I want, I'm going to get it. I want to make people happy. I want to prove that the impossible can become reality. That if you want a future that you can e at least think of, then it's it's it, you're able to see it already. And I know what I'm asking you is a lot, but even if you just come in and do a little bit, if 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 you can't do 100% of your job, then give me the rest of the weight. If you can't do half of the job, then give me the rest of the weight. If you can only do a quarter, even a little bit, one percent, give me the rest of the weight, and I will keep going, and I will keep going. Because if that's what it has to be done, then so be it. So be it. I I want to try my best to make this happen, and either way, I'm going to be working my ass off. So give me more weight, give me more pressure. I just don't want to. I don't want what everyone worked so hard for to go to waste. Time and time again, you guys have believed in me when I honestly didn't believe myself. Now, you know, I know the world's not perfect. I know it's not. It's not supposed to, be, but it's there for us trying the best it can be. And in that sense, that's that's what makes it so goddamn beautiful. I fight so hard with the determination I have because I want to fight for what I want to be tomorrow. Because if I don't fight what I want to be tomorrow, then how am I going to how am I going to be what I envision? If I don't fight for the dream that I want, that's insane. Then how am I ever going to get that? Uh, I may not be there yet, but I promise you. Even as we speak, I am damn well closer to that dream as I am than I was yesterday. And if we can't fly to this dream, then I'll run. And if I can't run, then I'll crawl. But no matter what, ma but no matter what it takes, then I'm going to keep moving. In the end, I believe. I want to prove, I want to show everyone that if they have a dream, if they have something they want, they gotta go after it so violently, and you gotta pursue it so violently and passionately that you make your own luck. Then in the end, you change the idea between dream into reality. And you said I could make this dream happen. Many of you have. But, I'd like to try that. I'd love to try and prove you wrong. So. See how many times it's going to take me falling down to get back up. Because I promise, you're going to have to kill me to make me stop this dream. Many people have obviously told me I can. And in the end, watch me. And if you don't want to watch me, you'll find out. You will. Because if you if you took the energy to get in my way, then you will find the energy to find out how far I've gone. Only those who are able to attempt the absurd can achieve the impossible that it's, it's simple if you want normal results then you put in normal effort if you want the impossible if you want impossible results then you put in absurd amounts of effort and you know in the end if, if I can think of a beautiful ending then God live as beautifully as you can until the very end because that's all you can ask that's all you can do and I want to show that you can live that way you just got to give it all you got Obviously, I, I want to stand for something. I want to I want to be able to show you that. I want to be able to be the reason why half these things can happen. I want to prove that the impossible is within reach. I want to be an individual that can find the strength to persevere, even though there are impossible obstacles in front of me. Beside, despite the odds. In a sense, I, I want to be your guys' hero. I know it sounds absurd, because it is. It's supposed to be. But there's a reason why I keep telling you guys to keep up your head and smile at the end of every video now. <laughs> it's because I want you to make sure that you can keep, that you can keep looking up, not not looking down, not looking, at wondering, oh, why am I trying so hard? I want you to keep looking and keep thinking, how can I make it to my goal? That's impossible. That it's so high up that I can't do it now. But despite that, I'm going to keep trying. Even though I fail, I'll get up. Fall down seven, I'll get up eight. I want you guys to smile because. I want your smile to change the world, and not for the world to change your smile, because there's there's been so many instances where I've seen that happen, where I've seen friends just let people change them. And I want them to just keep smiling, even if it's for a moment a fake smile. At least, at least you're you're fighting through what the world has set for you. I will try my hardest. I'll give my heart. I can, and I will. End of story. And you guys just gotta keep smiling. And if I can have you along this journey, if I if I can get all of your help, it'd be amazing. But if there's even one person, if there's even one person 
That's all I need. Because honestly, that's... That's what I started out with. If I gotten this far, then I can get that far as well. But honestly, just forget about the screen for me. Forget about everything. Just know that I'm here and you're there. And I'm thankful beyond belief that you guys are still here for me. And this is my one chance. I have one month to make a chance, to make a journey, to make adventure that is almost impossible, but yet still going after it, despite the odds. Every man lo every man dies, but not not every man lives, and I'm gonna live life to the fullest as I can. So if you're wondering if you can help, wondering how you can help, how to make this dream a reality, make the impossible happen, I'll just give you two options. One, you can ignore this, and you can do what you've been doing. You can keep living out life the way it is, or you can help out with this impossible dream that is probably it's not even gonna even work. But the slim chance that it does, the slim chance that you're not there when this happens. <laughs> That's what's going to make this amazing. Because despite the odds, despite half the people that I know aren't even going to be there when this thing happens, <laughs> it's going to be so amazing. Even if you don't know what to do, all I ask you to do is be there, have your heart, have your passion, and believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in me. And if you can't carry all the way, if, if it's too much, then put some on me. If I break, just tell me to get back up and I will. Just, just keep pushing it. Keep pushing me. Keep pushing me. Because in the end, you gotta remember, no matter what's going to end, everything ends. But are you going to give up? Give it up. Give it all you've got. And if I do fail, I, rem I want to be remembered for failing. Smile on my face, nonetheless. Dying. Even if it's a fake smile. F smiling. Fighting against what the world wants me to do. So if you're in, if you're in to make this dream reality, one, you can join the Discord. But number one, share this video. Join this insane journey. By becoming a digit and... Last of all, in the comments, type down hashtag one month, one chance. Because in the end, we are basically struggling against destiny. Destiny does not want us to succeed. But nonetheless, we're trying. We're trying. And none destiny keeps pushing and keeps telling us we can't. It keeps leading us towards this other direction of failure. But the fact that we keep spitting its face at the fact that we keep marching around its obstacles, the fact that we keep getting pushed down, we keep getting back up. That's what makes it so beautiful. That's why it makes it so amazing. This adventure, this, this story, this, this one chance that we're given. We may be struggling, but the fact that we haven't given up, we, we're still winning. And I know I'm not the best. But damn. What you, us, what you guys have made me is simply amazing. So the end, I love you. I remember. Keep your head up. Smile. Let's make this dream become reality. Be ready to join me for this insane adventure. My name is Blue Sunny Out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop.